What's it actually like being on probation? If you are someone who has been convicted of a crime and you now find yourself on probation, it's also useful for students and graduates who are thinking of coming into the career and you just want an overview of what actually happens when you're on probation. My name is Sarah Edwards. I used to be a probation officer and I worked for the Ministry of Justice for a total of 10 years in various different roles. I now tutor students psychology and criminology and I also have a coaching program for those of you who want to work on your mindset, your self-belief and develop a career within probation or within criminology or forensic psychology. So what happens first? So when you have committed an offence, you would have been arrested by the police. The police then would have charged you with that offence. The timing of all of this may vary depending on the area that you live or the offence that you committed. You will then be given a court date and at court you'll be represented by your solicitor or barrister. You'll either be going to a magistrate's court or crown court. Crown court is reserved for more serious offences where they can give out prison sentences of over 12 months or more. The magistrate's court can only give certain offences and they can only give a maximum prison sentence of 12 months or less. If you're going to Crown Court, you know it's serious. Okay, so not all people that are convicted of crimes get a pre-sentence report, but some do. And if you have, that will be written by a probation officer. So what that process is, is you'll be invited to an interview and it will be about an hour long, maybe an hour and a half, and they will ask you about your offence because they want to understand what happened. The more honest you can be with them, the better it helps them make their assessment. They'll want to know background information, like what your previous offences were. They do have this information from the police, so don't lie, just be honest. They will also want to know what the circumstances of those previous offences were, what your education background is, what your employment is. They'll want to know your relationships, who is in your support network, your family, your friends. Um, they want to know your housing situation and they all want to know this so that we can support you to be able to say okay this is what probation can help you with this is the most appropriate and most of the time we are looking for wherever possible can this be done in the community and without you having to go to prison unless it's something very very serious where murder serious sexual offenses then we would we would still be considering prison, but we would also be looking at, well, what can you do while you're in prison to maximise rehabilitation? What can you do in prison to prepare you for your release? A probation officer normally gets three weeks to do your report. So if you do not attend, it's just going to long out the process for you because the court is going to be adjourned or they might decide to sentence you without a report. In the conclusion of that report, the probation officer will be making a recommendation for what they think the sentence should be but the court have their own sentencing guidelines to follow and your solicitor or barrister will also be advising you as well. Next up, you've been sentenced. I'm gonna go through the two options. First option, you've got probation, so you're out in the community, you didn't get prison. You might have a community order or a suspended sentence order. Community order means that you go and attend your probation appointments. It's normally either six months, 12 months, 18 months, or 24 months, the maximum is 36 months. A suspended sentence means that you also get probation, so again, six months way up to 36 months, but your prison element will be suspended. So if you commit another offence while you're on probation, that element can be activated. So say if you've got 12 months suspended sentence with six weeks prison, that means you do your probation, but if you mess up, commit another offence, you can automatically go to prison for that six weeks because the judge has already included it. You don't need to go back to court. That will just be activated and you'll be six weeks in prison and then you'll come back out to serve the rest of your sentence. So you now find yourself on probation. What happens on your first appointment? Your first appointment with your probation officer I'm gonna go into that in the next video. Go ahead and tune in for part two. While you're tuning in, make sure that you actually subscribe to my channel because I share everything about being a probation officer that I think will be really beneficial to you.